Oh, okay. And also, if you were, you know, we've been texting back and forth for a year and a half. Well, I mean, if you're going to talk, if, if you want official stuff that requires an official answer, it doesn't need to be in the form of a text. Okay, so is that for everybody or is it just for me? I don't really talk to anybody else about stuff like that. I know because uh, you know you do work for us, Hubert. We do pay. You. I, I'm not saying I'm not available. I'm saying I needed an email so I can respond properly. Okay, but you've always responded to texts in the past. Uh, well, not that official. It doesn't really matter. You, I need to send an email. Did you get a copy of the board packet? Did you print one out? Is there one for today? Yeah. Uh, do you have a form to fill out so I can request it? Thank you. Let me give him one. Do you need one? Is there some reason we don't have any American flags in here anymore? meeting order for a special meeting for August 17th. It is 9 o'clock. Uh,
meeting uh, discuss the financial transparency the next day the financial statements uh, for 14 and 15 were posted um, Mr. Sure he's not in here I was going to say thank you um, the district still has a long way to go uh, for a disclosure for the residents as I stated in the email to Anthony I think I copied all of the members on it as well uh, that we have uh, two local entities that have been awarded the transparency stars from the Texas uh, Comptroller uh, for their accomplishments. Uh, East Chambers ISD is one of them and Chambers County. So you can go to any of their websites, look at all of their financial transparencies and they're absolutely wonderful. Um, after reading the 14 and 15 financials, After reading the financial statements, I was left with more questions than answers. Uh, the residents of this district have been kept in the dark about all the transactions that have taken place in our district. Uh, we agreed to a hospital district when we voted in 2005. Today we own 20-ish nursing homes and no hospital. The hospital district website states an agreement with the Winnie Stool uh, Hospital or Riceland hospital, whichever way that it's listed. Uh, what exactly is this agreement? The hospital district has given enough money, equipment repairs, IGTs, and who knows how much else uh, to exceed the amount of money that was actually paid to purchase the hospital out of bankruptcy. Does the hospital district own a percentage of the hospital? Uh, what is the district's return on our investment? Uh, I think that actually a public forum would probably be a good thing to have on these issues. Uh, from the last time that I spoke here, from the, a lot of the questions that I received from a lot of people around town, those are a lot of things that they don't know that's going on. They don't understand, you know, if they read it, it in the article or whatever, they don't understand about the, um, uh, the nursing homes. They don't understand, you know, just like I did in the very beginning, of, you know, all these initials and acronyms that you have for everything and people are asking you know well, what is this why haven't we voted on it you know when they, they talk about all of it they don't understand the way that the district was formed and that the board members are actually the one that, that actually gets to vote on it so there's a lot of concerned citizens out there uh, I being one of them so uh, anyway short and sweet thank you for your time I had originally signed up to uh, give her my three minutes because most places I go, if someone has something to say, they'll allot them a, more, a little more time. However, this is the only meeting I go to that uh, citizens are not given any respect. The reason we're not respected is because we're asking questions you don't want to answer. And it has to do with transparency. 
before you would never even let someone spe speak on, a, on an item in personal comment if it wasn't on the agenda. You were advised by your attorney who came back and said he was wrong. Well, I think you need to start thinking for yourselves. I think you need to get involved and read the Open Meetings Act. Your attorney is here to advise you legally. He is not here to run meetings. Why is he paid so much money to write the minutes of a meeting when you have a secretary that you, the board, elected? Uh, I think when you look at what this community is getting for the money you are spending, you are abusing federal dollars. The money you get from those nursing homes, if those people knew what you were spending that money on, instead of taking care of the elderly, there would be riots in the streets. You are abusing federal money. Maybe you're using legal loopholes. Just because it's legal does not mean it's right, does not mean it's the best thing to do in this country. <clears throat> Walk in, no American flags. Had to ask for them. Did y'all take those out? Because the last time I was here, your, uh, whatever she's called, that runs the place that I don't even know is qualified to do it, couldn't stand up and say the pledge she had to walk around. You guys are elected. You know what the problem is? Nobody wants to run against you because you've created a mess, one hell of a mess with taxpayer money. I think I've said enough. Thank you. doesn't take action if necessary on approving the BY6 IGT commitment form for the 1115 waiver program for the Wayne Community Hospital. Do you want me to discuss? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on, let's see, last week, I, I gave you all a board packet and I emailed out a board packet to you guys and uh, Gloria and Wade that it has included in it several things. One is an email that we received on Monday, like two to three days ago, informing us that we needed to do an IGT com commitment form by August 21st, which is Monday, so they gave us seven days. This is for the uncompensated care program Along with the email was a uh, several spreadsheets. One is all the participants in the uncompensated care program and how much each participant or each governmental entity was to IGT for their respective hospital. So if you'll, if you'll flip to, I, I, there's a pie chart in here. Because of the, the constant misstatements of Gloria and her newspaper and anybody else, I just want to make y'all aware that y'all are pretty clear. There's $2.6 million for scheduled to be IGT for DY6 from all the entities participating. So there's a total of like 400 entities participating, governmental entities participating. Of the $2.6 million that could be IGT, but in reality it's going to be about 40% less than these numbers. Billion, 2.6 billion. 962 million is given, is governmental entities just like y'all are making IGTs for private hospitals. Okay? So that's 37% of the 2.6 billion is going to private facilities. And that's in their spreadsheet. Now, how this happens or why it happens is set forth in the Texas Administrative Code, section 355.8201. 
In order for this hospital district to make an IGT on behalf of the hospital, we had to enter into an affiliation agreement with the hospital. So that's one of the things that's in the packet, and that's also that was also provided to uh, Gloria. Uh, that's one thing we have to do. But if you scroll down to page three of thirteen, where it talks about eligibility, it's subsection C. It states a hospital must have a source of public funds for the non-federal share. So a hospital, which could also mean, which is a private hospital is one of the definitions, such as the Winnie Soul Hospital, the Winnie Community Hospital, has to, in, somebody has to make an IGT for them. That's A, C1A. And then C1B says, if a hospital is not operated by a governmental entity, which is the case, it must have filed with the HHSC an affiliation agreement. And the documents described state the following. So if you go to the next document, there is the affiliation agreement that we, have entered, we entered into uh, in February of 2014 with the hospital. And before that, there was an affiliation agreement that was dated 2009 that was being used. Okay? In the affiliation agreement, it says that the hospital district can't make IGTs for the hospital and put conditions on the indigent <coughs> care that the hospital is giving to the hospital district's indigent patients. So, and that's in section three, I mean section four, on page four, uh, section C and D. I'm not sure if you would call this a loophole, but this is just the law. That 260 other private hospitals and governmental entities are following. So, as 4C and 4D, it talks about the fact that we can't place conditions on either making the IGT or how the supplemental funds that are received by the hospital are spent. Because remember, the whole purpose of this program is to reimburse the hospital for the uncompensated care that they give through the emergency room. It, it's a lot like in the ambulance world. They have this same program. Right. And the ambulance, the Winnie Soul EMS could participate in an EMS uh, uncompensated care program. It, but that would require them to be a governmental entity, which they're not. So, and they, and, and they you know, we know from talking to the, their board members that they have quite a bit of uncompensated care. So all we're doing is providing a mechanism to repay the hospital for what the hospital was not paid in the emergency room. So in the email... Which is the greatest loss most hospitals are Right, there. right. I mean, if you go back to whenever we started doing this... The right hospital. Right. If, there's two ways Medicare can pay for somebody. They can pay for a traditional Medicare patient, like I imagine you're on Medicare. Uh, if you go to the hospital, the hospital bills Medicare. But if I didn't have insurance and I went to the hospital, the hospital, since they accept Medicare and Medicaid, they have to treat me. But the way the federal government repays the hospital is through the uncompensated care program. So. If y'all did not allow, if y'all didn't facilitate the IGTs to the hospital, it's not that you're giving the hospital money, it's that you are facilitating a way for the hospital to be repaid back by the federal government. So anything else, yeah, all this other stuff. But nursing is home money. Just wrong. So far, to date, we don't know how much the ultimate IGT here is going to be. So the state, the, the IGT, the amount that the state was calling for us to agree to commit to is at the very end. 
It's five million five hundred thirty-one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven dollars and sixty-one cents. On the twenty-seventh of August, three days before y'all's meeting, we will get another email from the state. I'm sorry, on the twenty-fifth of August, we'll get another email from the state that tells you exactly how much the IGT is going to be. Historically, the amount <coughs> for the if you recall, each year there's two IGTs, and the first one is a smaller amount. And since it's a smaller amount, it's the, the amount they initially tell us, like the 90000 is the IGT. Then the second IGT, which is, comes in September, is usually the greater, and you can see in that chart that's in there, is usually the larger amount. It's at the very back, second to last page. What that is, is it's the, this is the larger IGT that we've been making since 2013. <coughs> uh, and the more, the more of an IGT y'all are asked to make, that means the more people that are going to the emergency room. So you can see in June of 2014, we made an IGT of $176,000. And each year is kind of steadily going up. So what that tell, should tell y'all is that that emergency room or the hospital is being utilized more. Because not, it's being utilized more, but it's also not getting paid for a lot of the services that they're getting. So, and that's how we've kind of been able to budget. This year, y'all's budget for this is $275,000 for the uncompensated care program. And the IGT we were asked to make this time was like, what did I say, 531987 $531, So with that, there's going to, I'm told, what we're ultimately going to be asked to pay is 60% of that. Or there's going to, they call it a 40% haircut. So that's the number that I put in here, and I kind of tried to put a disqualifier on there. Just, you know, I, I put a note, and I said the IGD commitment form calls for 531000 319000 is includes a 40% haircut. So that's for budget purposes, and so if that's accurate, y'all would have made one million three hundred five thousand four hundred one in IGTs to the hospital since really June fourth of two thousand fourteen. Uh, today we know that the hospital has received back about two million three hundred forty-five thousand. So before this, this we'll remind everybody in this room because people seem to forget things. Since before y'all took over in February of 2013, <coughs> the prior board who had entered into one of these agreements was making monthly payments to the hospital of like twenty-five to forty thousand dollars. So instead of doing this. This hospital is saying, we don't want that. Don't pay us each month for the indigent care we give. We want, let's make IGTs for the uncompensated care. And so it kind of comes out to the same amount of money that they were paying out of their pocket, but it's just being used, instead of going directly to the hospital, it's being used for an IGT, which is legal, but <coughs> you can't put conditions on like the hospital district can't put conditions on the IGT. So you can't say, okay, if we make this IGT, you guys are obligated to provide $30,000 per patient, you know, or, or we will only make half of the IGT, but we want, you know, you can't, you can't put conditions on the hospital for their treatment of the indigent patient per this agreement. And that's per the state, per the administrative code. So. Any assertions that y'all are doing anything wrong, it's just wrong, as usual. And uh, so I wanted to kind of go through that. Plus, 
since we're being recorded, this answers this packet that was mailed to email to Gloria answers her request from yesterday to the extent that y'all are obligated. She had one question like how the hospital is how is the hospital spending the money? Well, we don't have any kind of documentation on that, so there's nothing to produce. Plus, we can't tell the hospital how they spend their money because this is just reimbursing them. So it's like if Ed had, in Ed's business, if I gave Ed money and told him how he could spend it, we can't, we can't do that. So this is, and this has been emailed to Gloria, and we have the receipt that she received. It. So that has all been answered, and I don't know. There's nothing to hide here. It is what it is. So the purpose of this meeting is to. Do to do agree to do an IGT commitment form that's due on Monday for the maximum amount of the IGT, which would be five hundred thirty-one thousand nine hundred eighty-seven sixty-one, which is a sliver of the nine hundred sixty million dollars that's being paid to private hospitals in this area. And then for number four, I put this on there kind of as a belt and suspenders. In case we, we we're we're not going to be asked to make the actual IGT until after y'all's next board meeting. So at that at your next board meeting, we'll have a, a better idea of how much the exact IGT is going to be. But I'd put this number two, number four on here, which is to make the IGT or, or give Sherry authority to to transfer the money to make the IGT on here in case y'all didn't want to have to do it at the next board meeting. But, I mean, the next board meeting, the agenda, I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing really heavy on the agenda. So we can table number four if y'all want, because we don't know the exact amount, I and mean, you will know it. Yeah. And also at the next board meeting, we need to amend the budget because you have budgeted two hundred seventy-five thousand, and if these numbers are right as far as the forty percent, uh, we would be over the budget of two hundred seventy-five thousand. Uh, we've already done ninety thousand, so ultimately it would be about four hundred. Ten thousand dollars total. So you need to amend the budget to add one hundred twenty-five thousand for IGTs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions on that three? Is that? people have the illusion that we want to own this hospital because all of the money that Winnie Texas pumps into it. Really Winnie Texas is getting a pretty good deal. Riceland came here five or six years ago and he raised five million dollars of red ink and has done good to build and create a hospital for this community. This district has contributed to that welfare. And I think that the thought that we want to own this hospital is a delusion. Ask Anahuac, Texas if we want to own this hospital. We don't. We should be happy and grateful to Riceland is what I think. Angus Board has done well. Actually, if you ask Chambers Health, they also don't have their financials up on the web page. And they have no financials up on the web page. But I think Lori is on the board there, so we can ask her. 
Uh, I am not on the board of Chambers Health. Hubert, so you know that. You, you are. No, and okay. Go on the board on the website. I am not on the board, Hubert. You're lying again to mislead your board once more. Mislead? That's an oxymoron. In any event, the reason why, if you go back to 2013, we had the opportunity by the hospital. Y'all chose not to because the, the governmental entities that own hospitals <coughs> are really struggling these days. And it, I mean, look at Liberty, it's a great example. They couldn't make the IGT for MPAP 3. So, we just, I think everybody made a very collaborative decision that y'all don't really want to be in the business of owning a hospital. We did not. We did not. So, but also the hospital is the largest employer in this area. And so if you were to not support the hospital, <coughs> the hospital were to close, it would result in a large number of people being unemployed. And it would be nice if St. Elizabeth would come in, but as of yet, they haven't showed a lot of interest. But they came in, they didn't buy the hospital. I don't think that it's us keeping them out. They, they've already been here once, and they left. But by that, you mean if St. Elizabeth came in and bought the hospital for Bought the hospital. Well, who knows if that's a blessing or not? Right. Just a personal thought. With all the negative going on about rice lands, you should be grateful. I think you're biting the hand that feeds you. motion that we, uh, since we have time, that we wait and take action. Well, take we need a motion number four. Mm -hmm. Number three. Don't even know how to do it. Which is approved by the IGT committee. Yes, we do. I'll make a motion we'll do approve the form. Motion made by Jeff to approve the uh, sign and commit the form for the 1115 waiver program. Second. Second by Raul. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You nays? Ayes have it. Number four, discuss and take action if necessary on making the second IGT for the Wayne Community Hospital, 1115 waiver program. We can table this. We'll make a motion to table. Motion made to table it. Motion second. Second by roll. All in favor? Uh, nays, ayes have it. Adjourn. Um, Motion made to adjourn. There no oh, comments. Yeah. I put down for a comment. Can she comment on that comment? Yeah, sure. Yeah. She commented on that. Oh, I'm sorry. It is chair. Sorry. <laughs> no, what? I don't do it, but that's fine. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. That's okay. Uh, this is is very useful. These are these are the things that that I keep saying. You know that that we as the community need. We don't understand what an IGT is. We don't understand what agreement that you have with the hospital. That's where the questions are. Your hostility towards anyone asking questions is uncalled for. Not I, I'm, not, I'm not addressing you to answer my questions. I'm here to speak to the board. I'm making a statement, okay? But that was hostility that, that is focused on the residents. No one here, I'm, I'm not saying that, that we want to own the hospital as well. I don't know of anyone that would want to, to go through what they go through on a daily basis with everything that they have to put up with. I don't think that's ever been suggested that we want to own it, you know, yeah. but, but we, it has, okay. yes, it has. but these are things that we're asking. We don't know all of these things that you guys <coughs> do. 
We're asking as a community to find out these things. We don't know what an IGT is. We don't know how that's going to be paid, if it's going to be paid back. And we don't know that there have been other things that have been cut in its place. So, so those are just questions that we as taxpayers, as citizens, have every right to know. And hostility towards someone that's asking questions is completely uncalled for. Uh, Janet, yeah. you've sent a couple emails asking questions. Yes. And how many times has Anthony responded back to you, offering to meet with you, and me meet with you to answer your questions? I'm not meeting with you. I, I agreed to meet with a board member. It is up to the board. Who's offered to meet with you and explain? It's up to the board to, to, uh, to pay, to, to do whatever your services are. Mine are with elected officials. Right. I have spoken. Will you let me answer? Yeah. I have spoken with Anthony several times. At first, I told him that you know I had things that, that I had uh, already discussed with him that I had to do. He could not meet with me at the same time. He's been out of town and he is on vacation at this point. We have agreed several times to, to discuss it. I have asked response in email and have not re gotten response from him as well. He wants it by person. He wants to sit down and he wanted to talk in person. He's been out of town the week before that. I had things. I'm sure that you understand what schedule restrictions are as well. So it's not that as if no one has agreed to meet. Maybe you would like to speak with Anthony to find out the real story because that is definitely not true. I have spoken with Anthony. Okay. And well, and I have as well. And since it, since it is an agreement, between Anthony and I, and I about getting together, I think I know my well, partner's do. situation as well. I hope y'all do. Well, that's, that's, see, that's the reason why I wouldn't want to sit down with you is because of the hostility that, that you have. I don't have hostility. Yes, sir, you do have hostility. Okay. It was this morning when you came in, whenever you approached getting the coffee, even when I'm standing, the disrespect that, that you showed me while I go, while I'm standing making the statement in front of my board members. To get a bottle of water? Yes, to get a bottle of water. That's disrespectful. That was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. I was speaking. If I did that while you were speaking, I'm sure that, that you would have attitude. So I appreciate what the board has done. These are elected officials that are volunteering their time. And I appreciate everything that y'all have done. Well, uh, let, me, let me step in. Uh, a lot of our business, Jan, is legal. It's legal business. Nobody has said that it's unlegal. It it's federal. It's federal money that they, they have an active committee that is working constantly adjusting these, and uh, we do. We trust in Hubert. Hubert has led us here from bankruptcy. We started out in bankruptcy court. We found management agreements and. Really, the last five years of this board has been a godsend. We found federal money to go from bankruptcy to now we have a thriving hospital in a small community that is not really thriving right now. Right. If we took all the money that Winnie, Texas pumped into that hospital, it would fail. Riceland is bringing the hospital here. They're keeping it alive. We're trying to keep it alive. It's an employer in the community. That's also transferring jobs to Belmont. They've got to make a living. I mean, they're bringing money here. Don't act like they're taking our money and hauling it to Beaumont. The people live here. Huh? The people live in Beaumont. In Winnie. They just happen to be working in Beaumont. Right. Well, they're taking, they're bringing money to this community. Don't I, think they're not. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that they're not bringing money to this community. I agree with all of that. I agree with the fact that that it, had it not been for all of these things taking place, that there aren't a lot of things that that would have happened that are really good. The the, the things with the uh, with with the school. That's fabulous. No one is saying that, that these things are not good and you guys have not been hard workers and Riceland has not achieved a level of success in, in this community. You're getting upset with me making statements now and you're coming across the same way. I'm not saying that. All that I'm saying is I'm trying to find out 
just like everybody else's. This is information that we don't know. We don't know. We're just asking questions to find out what all of this is. We don't know what an IGT is and how it, how it helps the hospital. We don't know if we get paid back as a district. We have the right to, to ask those well, questions, okay. not to be attacked a, for a asking lot them. Of it, a lot of it is like uh, computer network. You have to go to school for two years to learn how to speak the language before anybody can talk to you about it. Exactly. That's, so why, to Hubert, learn. that's why Hubert handles the majority of it. He, is, he spends a lot of time with lawyers and a committee of lawyers that work this stuff out. Right. We don't handle that much of it. We see the results of it, and we approve or disapprove. And that's but, your job. That, 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 that's is, right. what, that he, is what a he, hospital district does. He's the technician but the, but, in this group, and he handles it, and we're proud of what he does. <laughs> let, let me... Let me that, that's not the avenue that Janet, or the point Janet's making is the transparency. To let the people know more of what this is all about. Exactly. Yeah, but how can we explain it they, they, when you put well, the language? Where she's talking to. You can. You can ask. They, you they can, can ask. They can come to a meeting or, you know, it's, the majority of the people in Winnie do, don't, they, they're. They don't care. It's not that they don't it, care, no, it's, it's that they're not going to take the time to come to me <laughs> to, to find out. Right. They, they're, they are, they'll sit in the dark before they come to a meeting. They, but, you know, just like we said, you know, that's we agree. The way, that's the mentality, or I say mentality, but that's just the attitude most of the people really have, is not that they don't care, they're, they're grateful that the hospital's still open, how it's getting done, is what they don't really care about. It's right. too hard to learn. It's, it's it's too hard to learn. Right, but for those that are asking questions, there's a reason why we're asking questions. Okay, we just want to know what's going on. We voted in a hospital district. Okay, that is something that we voted for. Okay, and then in turn, we ended up with all these. All of a sudden, everybody's going, "What do you mean we own you know nursing homes?" No one knew where that came from. No one knows what it does to help the community. These are not things that, that we know of. You know, so I mean, that's, it's like, where did that come from? How did we agree upon that? You know, so I mean, there, there are legitimate questions that's going to be asked day in and day out. There are some people that, you're right, they're not going to show up, they're not going to volunteer, they're not going to do, trust me, I know. Well, the, uh, the nursing home project goes to nursing homes. A percentage of that goes to the nursing home which the federal government assigned it to. And a percentage of that goes to a non-profitable governmental entity, which is us. And we have been to the state board and got accolades over how we handle that money. Our portion of it goes back to the community to support our hospital. And how are we supposed to know that? That's, that's, a, that's a good point, Janet. So you're an interested citizen, and you're here asking questions, which is great. Gloria and Hazel are here asking questions, which is great. And, and, so, and, and there's been many instances where Gloria and Hazel have asked questions that are good questions and made us go back and look at it. Okay? So... Whether they want to agree with it or not, they actually, it is a good thing that they are showing their interest. And I've always said it was a good thing. I don't, do I agree with how things are reported and whether things are reported as they actually happen? No. But how, how can this board go about educating people who are not interested? So you're interested. Right. So you have Anthony saying, hey, look, let's meet and we'll go through it with you and talk with you about it. Right. Right? <laughs> because you're being told, and based on the questions that you ask, they, they, I mean, they're just, I mean, I could sit down with you for two hours, and, and I don't charge them for this, and explain this to you. Right. 
And they've seen, um, my bills are in every set of minutes. Like, literally every time I, that you're I would I wouldn't know that either. We don't get to see those. Well, you can ask things. for them. I, they should be posted. Well, you know, we anyone, just talked about that. Anyone. So we just talked, we just talked about that. Anyone should be able to see right. that. that. That's what transparency is. Right. And that's more of a function of the board has agreed to do that. Right. And that's wonderful. And it's we, more of a function of when. the nature of their how busy these two have been to get it done. Right. She's only working because, part time. Well, exactly. Whenever you start the, the, the hospital district, as far as running the indigent care, uh, having an administrator, having someone that actually works with the indigent care, that's a load all of itself. Okay? You add on top of that everything that happens with the nursing homes and taking care of all of that and with the hospital. You add all of that responsibility on top of that that's more that they have to do. So you can't say that the nursing homes are not costing us anything. You know, well, yes, sometimes they're it costs money. money. Like if you have a business. I have had. Okay. So and I do understand. Did you have to spend PMS. money to make money? Absolutely. Absolutely. But that is some of the things that, that we're asking for because in the very beginning, when we agreed to the hospital district, that we agreed for a tax. Okay. Nowhere in there did it say that, that we were, by doing this hospital district, that we were going to end up owning nursing homes. Not that it's not a great thing that has happened to provide money for a lot of things, but that's something that we don't know about. Right. That, my question to you is, how do you recommend that the board in, provide this information, because it's been provided several times to board meetings, and, and public forums has been it's been talked about during the budget, uh, and I th I think we actually had a public forum on the nursing home here. But how how is it that you recommend that we do what you're suggesting? Well, okay, you have had public forums and you have given information to the public. I'm not sure when that 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 was or anything, but that would be the board presenting it. Okay. I'm, by God, when Texas, USA, you know, I'm the other part. I'm the one that's sitting there going, I don't know. Okay, you said that this time this is for, uh, th this IGT is going to be for 1115. Well, that's for uncompensated, you know, earlier in some of these, these uh, meetings and stuff, I've seen uncompensated, you know, do I know that that's the same thing as 1115? No, not until I get on the computer and start looking all these things up. There's a lot of things that I can sit there and I can tell the public on a, a, a regular, you know, normal, average Joe basis that would come across a lot differently than what you would explain it as. When I, when I first started in the computer world, the guy told me, you know, you stand on your left foot, press F3, and this happened. And I said, well, how did you do that? He said, well, you stand on your left foot, press F3, you know? <laughs> and I wanted him to explain to me how he was doing Well, what I didn't realize is I didn't have the background, or I wasn't willing to sit down for a month and learn the background of what he was doing. I want him to explain to me if what you're wanting him to explain is going to take weeks. I mean, you have to dig in. If you want to get into what he's doing and right. what they're doing, right. it's going to take time. But it, it, it has taken time. And, and I mean, we've been here since 2013. And Ed can vouch for this. I don't do anything without this board's approval. And I don't, is there not a thing that, I, how many times have I talked to you a day? Excuse me? Not only our approval, but he's gone way Maybe above that. our head many times, numerous times, and got AG approval. We're up to snuff, and we take very caution, great cautions to stay that way. And that's very I'm good sorry. to know. That, that's, I mean, that's good to know. But I don't think there's anyone that's that that's doubting that, that the board's not up to snuff. And Janet, they had to pound it and 
our heads to explain to us what all this mess was about. Right. Me. Because we, we were no longer right. just a hospital district. We, we were, were no a longer, hospital district. This is federally funded. And we were funded. no longer just the hospital district that always was like we had before. Everything was changing. It was it was growing. It has changed. You is that bad? Huh? Is that bad? Some is, parts, is change bad? Uh, change is never bad. Change is the only thing that you can say is will be constant. Okay, so that's that's what we are supposed to do. No one is saying that that change is bad, but the lack of information and the lack of transparency to go along with the change is bad. That's what I don't understand. Everything that is done is done here. You, you're entitled to ask for anything. Right. And if I don't sit in a meeting to read the meeting note, notes later, it's just a just condensed form of what actually happened. So unless I sit here and go through all of these things, I've read every meeting minutes that you have on, on the internet. I have. Trying to figure all this out, trust me. If I actually would have listened to my daddy <laughs> before he died, sorry. We respected him also. He followed through for the I would have, I would have maybe understood some things differently. Okay, because he talked about it constantly. This was his passion. Okay, this was his passion. That's the reason why when I saw Coach Espinosa here the last time, I said. I'm here with my dad's about half. Okay? He's here. He I didn't listen to him up front for him to say, this is what's going on. You know how you do with parents. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know, sir. You need to show up to the meeting. Well, it's right before Christmas, of course, I'm gonna show up to the meeting. <laughs> you know, I guess, but this was his passion. He was intimately involved. Yes. Like, Yes. Like, I know. You might as well be a board member. Okay. I relied on him heavily. Right. So did I. I went to him constantly. Believe so did I, and that's why I'm here. He's the one that taught me into being honest. I know he did. I'm sorry. No, that's uh, good. No, we're proud right. of what we've done. But, yes, and that's what I'm here for. Him. I'm here to take up where my dad left off. Okay, this was his passion. This is what he was here for day in and day out. I have the right to be here. Yes. No matter what, I am a citizen. I was born in Etowak. I was raised in Winnie. I have the right to be here. I have the right to ask questions. I have the right to learn it. I didn't listen before, <laughs> so I'm but, trying to learn it now. So thanks for your patience. <laughs> but... Yes, I want to know more about what's going on. And you said that, yes, it does put food on your table. No, Mo, it doesn't put food on my table anymore. Okay. A lot of I got interested in this hospital because of my daddy. And I was stabbed in the back because of this hospital. Okay. I fought hard for it. I stood up every day. Making people understand what this hospital was for and how y'all were fighting for it. And you know what I got in return? Two hours to clean out my office. Okay? So I do have the right to be here. And I will continue to be here. Because I want to find out what's going on. Because it is my right. And not only that, I think it's my heritage. It's built into me. So if you see me get pissed off, that's when you can call me Little James, okay? I don't quite have the passion that he did, but I'm trying. So if I keep asking questions, it's not because I don't think that you're doing the right thing. It's that I'm trying to learn what's going on. This community deserves a hospital. We need somewhere to go, but we also need them to respect the people that are here. The people that give their time every day. You say it's not a big deal driving to Beaumont. That's an hour and a half that those people do not get to spend with their family every day. No matter what you're compensated for, for the drive over there for the mileage. 
they no longer get to go have lunch with their children. Okay, you can sit there and say they didn't lose their job, they're just taking it and they're taking it to Beaumont. You as parents know that that costs a lot for taking away from your children. You don't get to sit there, you don't get to talk to the people the same way. They're not going to answer you the same way. Sorry, am I done? Yeah, well, I, yeah. It's not that we don't appreciate it. No, 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 I, I, I appreciate it. It's not that, that we don't appreciate it. That was okay. one more than three but, minutes. <laughs> yeah, my phone's ringing off the wall. Uh, it, uh, but I will be meeting with Anthony whenever he gets back from vacation. I'm not going to interrupt his family time. That's not, that's not worth anything. Last week he was working in Massachusetts. That's his income. I am not going to impede on his, on his time where he's making money or his time with his family. I will wait until he gets back. That was our agreement. He seems to have the most time to, and knowledge to discuss it. <laughs> you know, as far that, as the that's, reason why that's I was That's perfect. Right. That's the reason that's, why I said he was yeah. the chosen one. That's the reason why I sent the email to him. I, These are general questions. Okay. So the reason why we suggested <laughs> meeting with you in person because your questions are great questions and there's good answers to those questions. It's just to sit down and reply to all that, it would be more more efficient to discuss it with you to make sure that you understood. Right. And, and the reason why I was involved in it or offered to be involved in it is because there are questions that he didn't necessarily know the answers to or what well, he knows the answers, I just had to remind him. And so that's why I'm, I, and I'm happy to meet with you. You can call me anytime. I told I'm, you that I'm, in an email. I'm not going to do that. That's, that is the board's decision. These are, these are my people, okay? That's who I go to. on a technical level, some things maybe we can't explain like you would can. But I mean, then that's where we go from that point on, but that's y'all's choice to defer me to him, not for well, me to go straight I'm him. always the one that feel, uh, if I can't answer it, I'll find an answer. Right. I'll get it for right. you. Right. You're the one that, I know y'all. Okay? If you, if you guys need to ask that's that's spending y'all's money. I'm not spending it. Whether he charges for it or not, it doesn't matter. You're you're my elected officials. I'm done. <laughs> and we have nothing but high. I mean, I'm right. glad that we we need to be able to talk. And let's, uh, let's talk. That, that's, you know, information like this is wonderful. Very good. You know, uh, I didn't get the rest of it, so, you know, hopefully maybe uh, maybe I can get that by email. Sure. The email that you sent the morning afterwards was wonderful. <coughs> that's a lot of information. And sometimes if we feel like we're being picked on, sometimes we feel like we're all being picked on. And we work hard to get this right. And we do what we think is right. I, and we feel like sometimes that we get unjust criticism. Exactly. And we react to it. And I've been on I've been on boards, I've been a, a business owner, I've been all of that. I understand all of it. And volunteering your time, uh, I don't know why that this district has not gotten to the point where they at least compensate you for your time because it's no longer a hour meeting once a month um it's it's not what it was originally it's 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 it's, it's a job i make a motion that we adjourn Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so I would like to ask you, what did you think of Sherry's comments? Who's Sherry? I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no comment. No comment? No comment. <laughs>
You think the hospital has done everything it's supposed to do by its contracts? No comment, ma'am. Do you, uh, are you willing to show how you've spent the money? No comment, ma'am. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Alright. Well.